It's like part of my arm. I don't know how can I live without it. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> too crazy. <laughs> it's an addiction. I am an addict too and I hate that. Uh, usage of my phone take uh, hours from my life and it's not that interesting. I just uh, take my phone uh, when I don't know what to do, when I'm uh, boring, but I understand that I can spend the time, uh, I don't know, reading or uh, go for a walk or doing something that is better for my life than uh, usage of the phone. It's not that interesting. It's a bad habit. When you wake up, uh, the first thing you did, uh, you do, uh, is take your phone. Before, uh, I was like, uh, and go eat. Uh. <laughs> I think it's totally enmeshed and sometimes it's far too prevalent in people's lives from the first thing in the morning to the last thing at night. I think we're addicted to our smartphone. We look at it every day. Look, I'm walking along with it, holding it. It's like part of my arm. 80% of the time, they're using phone, you know. Sometimes they forget the people around them who's important to them, you know, because they are using phones. It's kind of um, addictive, so you should minimize the use. So I don't use it in the trains, for example. I see many people using it in the trains, so I feel it's kind of depressing. People are too much into their smartphones. I think um, there's a lot of people uh, particularly, you know, millennials, uh, Gen Z, who uh, are just on their phone well, addicted, all of the addicted time. addicted to Facebook yeah. and addicted to Instagram. Yeah. But of course, nowadays in the schools, they use technology a lot. So they all have iPads at school and laptops. I am an addict too, and I hate that. <laughs> so I really think it's a bad thing. This is the society in which we live. Smartphones probably do control our lives. A really good example, we went up the cable car in, um, to see the Big Buddha yesterday and we were waving at people in the cable cars as they were going up and we were going down and, and were everyone was on their phone rather than at looking view. at the view. So I think absolutely smartphones are controlling us rather yeah. than the other way around. I am controlled by my phone. Uh, in some way, yes, because, you know, actually in a practice way I control my phone, but if you see that thing in another way, this is my phone that controls me because I cannot work without it, I cannot travel because we used to do like this since we are a child. You get reminders, get notifications about things happening in certain areas, so you're able to like, go and see. So people who might not know about things happening in areas will get notified and then they'll go and see it. Yeah, I do think smartphones control their lives. I think the uh, smartphones are dominating life very much and um, maybe it's not, not a very healthy relationship to be honest, but of course it's extremely important as well because they're so useful, so it's quite complicated. Yeah, I don't think that uh, the smartphones can control our lives, but maybe somebody behind the smartphones. For example, you're thinking about, uh, my friend were thinking about what milk best for babies. We're just talking about it, like for us now. Okay, maybe non-pro or pro or something, any kind of brands, but we're not using phone. And then suddenly, after five minutes, when we check our phones, all brands, brand of the mic coming, popping up. So it means the phone, listen to the conversation. Uh, I use my phone uh, five uh, to six hours uh, per day. Scrolling, shopping, texting. WhatsApp, Chrome, because I obviously read in the news, so sometimes you get access to sort of South China Morning Post or the BBC. Um, then also maybe WhatsApp, Facebook, that type of thing. I think four hours uh, every day. I don't think it's so much. I don't know exactly how much, but a lot. Because, uh, you know, for working, for studying, for chatting with friends, people in general, I really use it. For paying, also for moving, you know, GPS maps. Alipay. <laughs> <laughs> to pay uh, to pay MTR and Octopus, Facebook, Instagram. I'm teaching uh, 
fitness. So I'm using Spotify to play my music. Social media usually, so Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, because my family live away, so, so I use FaceTime a lot to, to speak to them. For payment like WeChat and uh, Alipay. If one day I didn't have a, a mobile phone, I think it will cause a great deal of difficulty in terms of lots of the daily things and daily actions that I take from, as you said, from banking to alarm clocks to reminders how to do, do things. So yeah, it would cause a lot of personal difficulty. I'm sure. I, I don't know actually. I think I can do it because I've done it in different situations. But, you know, I have to manage my days in different ways. I have to maybe read some books, uh, just meet people every, in every moment. Uh, I am kind of person who cannot stay alone with himself. So uh, I have to say that it, it, it would be difficult, but not impossible. I've done it, so it, it can be done. I guess it's, it's just like any relationship. You have to know the boundaries. Given like a couple of weeks, I would probably want my smartphone back just because like we're all connected with smartphones so that as humans we always crave being connected or having connection with other humans so smartphones are like the biggest way that we tap into that. Sometimes you just put it down which is probably what I should do right now. Yeah. Well I can't imagine it because I guess for most of my life that was what it was like right it's only maybe in the last 10 or 15 years it's become like this so I often think about that and I think life was a lot simpler back when we didn't actually have the phone, but it was a very different lifestyle. I know that that's something that I want to do and that I probably need to do, but it's just too tempting when you're sitting on a bus or on the MTR. It's just, it just becomes like a habit to take it out. It's fine. I can leave it. Yeah, because it reminds me if I'm holding my phone, I have a two-year-old kid right away when I hold it for two seconds. Mama, 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 I need your attention. You know, it breaks my heart. I always like home. Okay, so I decided to less phone. During at work, yeah, can play my music. But now, I'm not holding it when you see me. I'm just playing my Spotify around and that's good. I think it takes discipline and time to get used to not always reaching for your phone, but I think it's something that people should start doing more.